Welcome back to the channel, Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man, and today we're taking a look at the next in our Warhammer 40,000 Christmas Battle Force boxes. Today we're looking at the Adeptus Custodes box, the Watcher's Gate. If you're new to the channel and you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like and subscribe. Check out the other videos where we break down the different army boxes, as well as the value of the components of the army boxes. So here we have the Trajan Valoris here in the center. Uh, he is going to be the leader of the army. And then we have a quite a bit of potential here for how we want to build our kits. Because the custodian guard kits, there's three of those in here. And each includes the ability to build a Vexilla as well as a shield captain. Or all five of those models can be armed with either the spears or shield and sword. And then we also have the Alaris Terminators. They have a couple little build options to them. And again, one could build a Vexilla. One could build a shield captain. Or they can all just be regular, etc. So there's lots and lots of options. And then finally, we have the Vertus Praetor jet bikes. And uh, again, same type of situation here. Uh, you know, one or more could be technically assembled as shield captains. Uh, now, the only distinction really with shield captains is they basically have extra like capes and ornate bits, and they're typically shown without a helmet on. Uh, so let's take a closer look at what else we have here. So let's take a look at the army and points and everything breakdown. All right, so here we have the Watchers of the Gate. And uh, I went ahead and built this in a simple fashion that would be functional in game terms. There's lots of ways you could probably build this differently. And if you had other stuff, there would be some cool configurations. But right out of the gate, if this was all I had for Adeptus Custodes, this is how I would build it. I would start off with the Trajan Valoris, 200 points for him. Uh, he's an excellent character. I uh, will be a great leader for your army. And then I would build a regular shield captain as well. And depending if you build that shield captain with either the sword and board or the spear, uh, you're talking about 105 to 115 points. That's a little more expensive with the shields. And then we have also our Vexilus Praetors. Uh, so the Vexilus Praetor is one of the guys with the standard holding them up there. I would just build one of the regular custodians into a Praetor the same way we built one of the regular custodes into a shield captain you have all the appropriate bits you don't have to convert anything but that's how i would use those options so the vexos praetor is going to cost you about 105 points and he's going to give synergies and help anybody nearby in your army and then next we have the three alaris terminators so you do have the option to build a shield captain here you have an option to build a vexilla here uh, but we're going to go ahead and just stick with the three alaris terminators 180 points for those and then on to the bikes we have our three virtus praetors uh, so for the Virtus Praetors, you have the option to give them either their like hurricane style bolters or they have a little stronger like missile salvo. So depending on how you want to build them, I typically do like one with the missile salvo and then a couple regulars. You could alternatively go all one way or the other. You're talking about 240 to 255 points. You do have the option to build one of those into a shield captain. Unfortunately, you run into that same problem. The minimum size unit for the Veritas Praetors is three. So if you make one a shield captain, you're not going to be able to field a regular unit of these guys. So again, I would just stick with the regular Veritas Praetors, 240 to 255. And then now we're going to have leftover. We used up one shield captain from the regular guard kit. We used up one Vaxilla from the regular guard kit. We could build another two shield captains or two Vaxillas. Uh, but instead, we're just going to go ahead and build 13 regular guard uh, five guard in one squad, five guard in another squad, and three in the next. And that's going to give us three troop choices. They only have to be three, uh, but five is a nicer size squad. Three is good for if you're going to leave them behind on an objective or something like that. Five is if you actually want them to survive and potentially like influence the game. So for five guard, you're talking about 225 with the spears. Or if you do pay some more points, you can get the sword and shield as well for 250. Uh, so we times that out by two, and then finally we have a three-man guard. And again, same thing, either 135 or 150, depending on what you equip them with. So when it's all said and done, a nice size army, you can easily, easily configure this in a lot of different ways still, and still have a very nice army. So for instance, and we'll jump over here and take a look at the points next. So here with the total points of 1,415, to 1505 and that was exactly how we built it but with the various options for those units you know if you were trying to pay play a thousand point game out of the box with this which is similar to what the other boxes would be you would have like four to five hundred points you could trim so you may want to go with a verdus praetor shield captain jet pike uh, you may want to go with 
you know, some different options there. Uh, but I like doing it this way. I think this is the best way for longevity and to build on to this army. And then as you supplement the army, you can change around like the actual configurations or how you build future stuff. So for our army here, we have basically 1400 to 1500 points. We're going to put that into a battalion detachment. We have our two HQs. We have two elites, one fast attack and three troops. So we meet all the requirements for a battalion, which is the two HQs and three troops. And then we still have a bunch of other stuff we could add into it. So multiple boxes, would I buy multiple boxes of this? For me, it's a big no. Um, the reason being that you don't ever need more than one Trajan Valoris. The Alaris Terminators are okay, but they're not great. And you really aren't going to need any more Custodian Guard. If you do, maybe one more box, but definitely not three more boxes. Now, that means basically out of this whole box, once you have one of them, really the only thing you would want is more of the bikes. So that's what I would say. More bikes is much better than just buying two of these boxes. Uh, as the bikes are cool, they're fast, they fill a gap, and they're strong. So multiple boxes, no. Uh, what about the combat patrol? Combat patrol is a yes. So let's go ahead and take a look at the combat patrol. So I do have a separate video where I break down the full combat patrol. Definitely recommend you take a look at that and do something very similar to what we're doing right here. Uh, so the combat patrol, you have one shield captain, one vexilla, three Praetors, three Guard, and ten Persecutors, which are the Sisters of Silence. Uh, and that's going to come out to a total of 705 to 745 points. And again, there's a lot of different options because you can start building extra Shield Captains or Vexillas. Uh, you can take the Sisters instead as different options with Flamers or with Swords. So again, you just have a ton and ton of options with the Custodes one, more than any other boxes for sure. Uh, but that's how I would build it, and it would come in around 700 to 745 points. So if we were going to go ahead and combine the combat patrol with this, um, I think the only argument I would have is that, again, you're going to have a lot of custodian guard, um, which isn't a bad thing. They make up the bulk of the army, but most 2,000-point armies are not going to take more than 15 custodian guard. So it is a little bit redundant. Uh, but really nice setup overall. So would I combine the combat patrol and this box together? Yes, I would. I would definitely think that's a good idea. I think it's nice to have some Sisters of Silence to sit back and hold objectives on the cheap. Uh, the second squad of bikes is really nice. And then, of course, after that, you're pretty much going to be set as far as the regular range. And then combined, you're still going to be able to take a battalion. You're going to have roughly 2,120 points up to 2,250 points. And honestly, you're going to have a bunch of extra bits and bodies left over to where you could potentially fill out a lot more than that by just building extra shield captains. Uh, at this point in time, you could turn one of your six bikes into a shield captain uh, on jet bike, possibly even two of your bikes into shield captain jet bikes. That's going to up your points substantially and give you some hard hitters. You can alternatively build lots more, you know, Vexillas or shield captains from your regular stuff as well. Uh, so you potentially have the option to get up to like 2,500 or even more points with just these two boxes. So next off, what I would really recommend is rather than adding more stuff from the range, I would recommend probably at this point in time, some Forge World. Uh, Forge World is very strong for Custodes. Hopefully sometime in the near future, some of the popular Custode stuff will be coming from Forge World in resin into the regular Games Workshop range in plastic. It'll be better quality kits and also cheaper. Uh, I think there's a very high likelihood of that happening over the next few months to a few years. I uh, really don't know the time frame or anything like that, but seems probable. Uh, from there, you have a couple of different grab tanks that are really cool. Some transports, some kind of like more scout type units. Uh, but I would recommend the Caladius grab tank. There's two options for that. It's very strong shooting. It's very quick and definitely want at least one of those in your army. Uh, alternatively, you can kind of go the Dreadnought route. The Telamon Dreadnought is gigantic, very cool model. You have the option to do either like two fists or two guns or a combination. Uh, they're really good. They work great in any army and uh, are just very, very durable. And then there's also the Contemptor style Dreadnoughts, which are a little smaller, but there's the Achilles Dreadnought or the Gladys Dreadnought. The Achilles has a big spear. The Gladys has a sword and shield. Both of those are very, very strong. Lots of people take multiples of the different Dreadnoughts and everything. Again, the Forge World is very good. Definitely will take your army up a notch. 
Um, but if you didn't want to buy any Forge World, you just wanted to stick to the plastic range and everything, um, what I would actually get is a Blade Champion. The Blade Champion is a really, really cool model, and he's excellent in game terms. He is extremely versatile and will, I mean, when your opponent is sure they're going to kill him, he won't die. When they're sure they're going to take an objective, he won't give up the objective. When they're sure they're going to get some maneuver off, it just, a, a lot of times he's just either underestimated or just pulls through when just statistically he shouldn't have. So very, very cool model and very good in game terms. Uh, so that's it. When it's all said and done, um, I would definitely go through here and say, this is a nice box set. A really really good box set and it goes very well with the combat patrol i would definitely say that is an excellent place to start an army uh, for custodes you do not need forge world uh, but you'll find probably that uh, there's a couple things missing from the army and the forge world really fills those gaps uh, very well and then uh, finally when it's all said and done i would give this box an a plus this is a great box there's very little that could be different in this box that would honestly make it better um, I think potentially having one less custodian guard squad and then having another unit of bikes or something along those lines uh, would make this box absolutely perfect. Uh, but I think it is a really good box and I definitely recommend it. I wouldn't get two of them though as you're just going to find that you just have too much redundant stuff in there. So if you did enjoy today's video, make sure to like and subscribe. We do daily reactions, reviews, and news, painting, modeling, conversion, tutorials. There's tons of playlists. For Warhammer 40,000, Kill Team Necromunda, Age of Sigma, War Guy, and some Horse Heresy as well. Pretty much any of the Games Workshop tabletop games. And uh, a bunch more videos like this. And then also some uh, pricing videos out for these different boxes. Uh, something similar already. If it's not out there yet, uh, there will be something coming as I do plan on breaking down all these boxes. So if you did enjoy it, make sure to like and subscribe. really helps out the channel and I definitely appreciate it. That's it for today. Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man and I'm out of here.